Backyard Slope Solutions. I know you want a good backyard living area, but your backyard is sloped. And the thought of tackling this formidable challenge has you feeling overwhelmed. Everywhere you look and everyone you talk to has steered you towards boring retaining walls and landscaping, but you want more and you want backyard living. You have an extensive list of features and destinations you want to incorporate, but how do you do it? Don't let that slope intimidate you. I'm here equipped with creative solutions to handle slope that step out of that boring box and not only enhance the visual appeal, but functionality of your outdoor sloped backyard space. Let's explore various innovative and creative design strategies to effectively retain slope and attain the stunning backyard living space that you desire. Here we go. So as we navigate the planning and designing process of your backyard, slope will play a vital role in the placement and the flow of the features and the destinations. But before we design the layout and the placement of features, we need to begin by first assessing the slope steepness. Fixed elevations and things such as direction of water, runoff, or privacy concerns. So this information will guide our design decisions. So let's look at this project. It's in Colorado where grading and drainage were a concern and see how we overcame this challenge. So sure. we originally were talking about doing like a retaining wall mm -hmm. and then kind of leveling everything yeah. off. Mm -hmm. um, we talked to our builder and kind of yeah. like outlined what our plans were and he was like, he cautioned against yeah. doing any grading just for flood okay. reasons. Cause like we're kind of at like the bottom of a hill almost. Okay. And so he's like, that would for sure be a flood concern. And he's like, on top of that, it would void your structural warranty. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's all going like that way and down. Basically, like the house is kind of on like a little mountain. So it's like, it, it slopes down on all sides, like outwards. Okay. You can get strategic with boulder settings. This is what I call two elevations. So yours is opposite. So you have this flat elevation here. And then you see where the tree is right at the base of the tree is yeah. a fixed. That's a fixed elevation. I call that. So yours is opposite. Your, yours is obviously, you know, the house, the house and the patio is fixed. And then you have your fence line is your fixed elevation. But do you see the way that we've accomplished a very large amount of slope with boulder settings and plantings? That looks good. So, but the plantings, yeah, the plantings will really start to fill in there and you, you won't realize the, ele the, the, the drastic elevation change. And then when you, you put the boulders in, you can do the planting pockets to look like things are a little bit higher up, if that mm -hmm. if that makes sense. And it doesn't mean that you're changing the whole grade and the elevation of like the fence line, but the yeah. fact that you can create these planting pockets with boulders and plants. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. Yeah, I mean, it's like okay. if you put bigger features kind of like closer to the fence line and then like shorter features backwards, mm -hmm. I imagine that would give the effect of like kind of flat. So yeah. That sounds good, yeah. Okay. Perfect. Yep. Okay. Cool. That sounds good. Right. I mean, outside of that, I think we're, we're pretty much, pretty much good to go. So awesome, man. Well, I'm here. If you need me book, a, book an appointment, if I can help in any way. Cool. Now take a look at this project. It's in Utah. They had those fixed elevations. So they had the outdoor living space, which we gave them a beautiful one right behind their garage there. But look, as you go up to the top of that boulder wall, that's another fixed elevation that we can't necessarily control but we can definitely use that space. And we did that with obviously destination, with the stairs, and then we put a beautiful pergola, kind of a daybed area up on that upper slope. Beautiful view of the property from there as well. Now, depending on the size of the property or the steepness of the slope, harassing the slope into multiple levels or tiers may be necessary solution to transform unusable space into outdoor living. Now this not only adds visual interest, but also creates flat areas for multiple destinations throughout the tiered space for features such as structures, higher features, seating, dining, or gardening. Now with good design, slope and elevation changes can be used to your advantage, creating curiosity and intrigue, naturally drawing you up to a destination or down to one to see what awaits you there. Pathways and stairs using materials that complement your overall backyard design, such as natural stone, 
pavers, or gravel create natural transitions, holding you from destination to destination throughout your backyard living space. Now let's take a look at a few projects where terracing was necessary to manage slope in your backyard and create a beautiful, usable outdoor living area. You can see how with the use of retaining walls, whether CMU block, concrete, or boulders, you can effectively retain the slope and managed fixed elevations, creating tier destinations to fully maximize your backyard living area. Now let's take a look at this project. It's in New York. There was a lot of elevations that we had to work with. They had the fixed elevation of the pool over there. Take a look at this old deck, it had them feeling confined and the pool was separated from their main space, making the space feel extremely disconnected. But they did not know how to get from their house, which was a lot higher up over to the pool area and have it be a natural transition. Now the homeowner hired us to do the design and I love the presentation of our first design. The clients were wowed and amazed at what we came up with for them. Oh, oh my, my goodness. <laughs> Holy cow, that's my house? That's your house. By removing the deck and then incorporating tiered hardscaping areas, you can see how seamlessly the space flows throughout. The connectivity and the continuity is carried out effortlessly from their one tier to the next tier. Now take a look at this beautiful property. It's in Carmel Valley, California. Beautiful 14 acre property, mostly unusable land, as much as 20 to 30% slope in parts of it. Now their dream was to transform it into a Tuscan villa, complete with orchards, vineyards, and all of the outdoor living amenities that you can imagine, such as a pool, covered structure, outdoor kitchen, fireplace, and outdoor living rooms, as well as a wellness area that's separate from the outdoor living space. Also a beautiful garden down from the main outdoor living space. Did we hit the mark for the homeowners? I'm gonna give you your first view. Are you all ready? Yes. Yep. Ready? Yes. Ready. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is awesome, Maxine. This yeah. is exactly what I need in order to go, ah, okay, now I can see. And there you have it. That is what Premier Outdoor Living is. That looks pretty amazing. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I didn't think it could look like that. That is awesome. Oh. I'm excited. Uh, Molly and I's heart and soul was in this job and we are so excited about it. What's your take on version one? I love it. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Installing retaining walls to hold back soil and create level platform is a necessary part of handling slope. Now these walls can be made from various materials like stone, you could use timber or concrete blocks depending on your design preferences and your budget. And you can also use concrete walls, don't forget about those. But let's think outside the box and be more creative than just your typical retaining walls. We want to blend functionality with aesthetic appeal. When incorporating your desired features into your backyard design, they can be effectively used to hide slope and enhance the visual appeal or to manage the slope. Using a water feature and strategic plantings on the sloped hillside can create a visually appealing natural destination in the landscape and mask unsightly retaining walls and elevation changes. Using seat walls to retain the slope can create an inviting, functionally landing spot in your backyard. Take a look at these properties where we use slope to our advantage and created fire pit destinations with seat walls to retain the slope. Also creating sunken destinations such as hot tubs or fire pits can also manage elevation changes in the landscape. So a pool destination is another creative way to handle slope and elevation changes. So take a look at this property where we use the pool as an elevation change, where basically we wouldn't have the ability to have flat elevations otherwise. The pool was the help in this situation. So take a look at us carving into the hillside here, and then we created this beautiful pool destination, and we used some of the slope there for a water feature that we hid a slide underneath. So again, we use the elevation to our advantage, creating usable space. That slide was the hit with the family. They love using it and you can hardly see it underneath that waterfall. 
But again, the pool was the main use of the elevation change there. So if you're thinking of a pool, consider using it a little higher to handle some of those elevation changes. So let's take a look at some of the properties around the nation that had challenging slope issues and let's see how we use some of these different design elements to create stunning outdoor living areas. Take a look at this property in Michigan. Obviously they were on the lake there and they had an extreme sloped area to deal with, but they wanted a lot of outdoor living area and take a look at how we use slope and elevation changes to create these destinations that brought the family out and they absolutely loved their new space. So let's take a look at this property in Colorado. They had a sloped area that we used the space to our advantage. We put a covered structure in there, a sunken fire pit destination with some stairs, and then a big lawn area. Now remember, if you hire us to do the design, we're going to take great care of you with our design as you're seeing here. But if you need any help throughout the build process, as you see here, the homeowner called and was like, uh-oh, we need help. And I was happily jumped on a Zoom call and helped them through some of the hurdles that they were going through with construction. You can see how important design is when it comes to managing slope. Without good design, slope can be disastrous to the functionality and the overall outcome of your outdoor space. Trust me when I say this, I can help you. I help homeowners all the time overcome these slope challenges. Don't try to do this without good design. It will be a mess. Now again, if you have a slope space, it's gonna be really helpful for you to get a professional design. We design in 3D, obviously, where you can totally visualize your space, the whole space completed. And with sloped areas, you're going to have hurdles to overcome during construction. But with a good design, like what we provide, and then with the ability to reach out to me and say, hey, Micah, can we get some help with this? Or my contractor has some questions. I could jump on a Zoom call with you and your contractor. I do it all the time. And I can help you guys through that hurdle that you're going through. 29 years in doing outdoor living spaces, I could pretty much help you overcome any hurdle that you or your contractor are facing. Remember, during the design process, you have version one. We're gonna take all of the outdoor items, all the outdoor elements that you're looking for, any thoughts that you have. We wanna get that dream master plan for you to be able to visualize in your space. And then of course, we tweak it until we get it just right. We have three built-in versions for your design. We will get it right, we guarantee it. So we talked a lot about design, but if you have a sloped backyard, will you please click the link below and let's have a free Zoom meeting. At least let me see the space so we can talk about the future vision of your outdoor living space. By the way, watch this video. It's all about 3D design concepts and it even shows us presenting to many of our clients around the United States and by extension, the whole world. We'll see you in the next video.